GarageBand is one of the easiest pieces of software to pick up and start using. However, once you get started, you'll find that there's some things in the user interface that just don't really make sense. So in this video, I'm breaking down the five hardest to find features and how to find them. Let's go. If you'd like to learn a heap more about creating, recording, and releasing in GarageBand, check out the GarageBand 5-Minute Tip Series linked in the description. Number one, how do we add more bars to our song? Well, it's hidden over here in the very top right. If you tap on this little plus button, what you can do is either extend the amount of bars by tapping or even tapping and dragging up if you want a whole bunch more, or you can turn it on to automatic. And then once you tap off again, you'll see that all of your new bars have been created. You can also add in individual individual song sections, and I cover that in another video you'll find in the description. Number two, how do you import an audio file here into GarageBand? Well, it's under the loops icon here in the top right. It's where your Apple loops are, but if you tap on this files tab in the middle here, here's all your files, and you can just click and drag them across. If you want to add files, tap on the browse button, find your file, and add it to the GarageBand file transfer folder. And if you want to see all of your stored files, just go to the files app, go to GarageBand for iOS, and the GarageBand file transfer folder, and you can even move files in and out of here, and they will show up in your GarageBand. Number three, how do we save our project? Well, funnily enough, all we need to do is exit. So if we tap on the file icon in the top left, it's going to exit. Now, when you first save, it won't have a name, and all you need to do to rename it is tap and hold, and then tap on rename, and you can call your My Song whatever name you'd like to give it. To reopen, just tap on the project again, and make sure that every time that you make a major change to your project, that you hit the save button again. And an advanced tip for you here is you may want to create versions by tapping and holding and then tapping on duplicate. This will create a version two, which you can now continue changing. And if you add new versions to your project, it can just make it easier. If you do something wrong, you can go back to a previous version. Where is automation? This is probably the question I get asked more than any, because what folks do is they tap out here on the waveform and they look at through all of these menu options, there's nothing here for automation. Well, GarageBand has a second menu hidden under the actual icon. So if instead of tapping the waveform, we tap on the icon, we get all of these options, including your rename, your duplicate, your merge, and your automation. So if you're looking for automation to automate your volumes, that's where it is. Tap right there on the icon, not out here on the waveform. And number five is your settings. So you might think, well, I know that one, Johns. It's right up here under your settings icon. Here's all your standard settings and here's your advanced settings. But guess what? There's a third hidden settings that you can get to, but you got to do it outside of GarageBand. So to get there, we're going to swipe up and we're going to find the settings app. If you want to swipe down, you can type in settings and it's this one here. Once we're in the settings, scroll down on the left. If you're on an older version of iOS, you'll have to keep scrolling to find GarageBand newer versions. You tap on apps and then we come over here to G and to GarageBand. And if we scroll on down, yeah, check out this, a treasure trove of additional options in here. And I cover each one of these options and exactly what they do in another video that once again, you can find linked in the description. So there you have it, five user interface options that are not in a logical place, but now you know exactly how to get to them. You'll be a GarageBand guru. If you'd like to check out more videos, check the description down below and I'll see you next time.